Okay, today I'm going to be testing if two cherries could kill you. So there's this rumor I've heard that two cherry pits contain enough cyanide to kill you. And so I wanted to test that myth today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crush up some cherry pits and then use my cyanide test kit to see how much cyanide is in the cherry pits. And so I already tested this with apple seeds previously and I did find that indeed apple seeds have a lot of cyanide in them. But in the comments section there are a lot of people commenting you need to try cherry seeds. Cherry seeds have more cyanide than apple seeds. And I saw a lot of places online where people were saying two cherry pits is enough to kill you. And the key to this is that the pits need to be chewed up. They need to be broken up so that the amygdalin is released and it releases the cyanide from the amygdalin. Okay, can cherries kill you? Crush in a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. <laughs> that looks pretty gory. <laughs> You can see the pits here that got smashed. This is what I want to test. Okay, I've gathered up one pit and two pits. Okay, there's two pits worth of cherries in there. Okay, here's two milliliters of water in with it. So I'm gonna give it a good mix around, let it sit here for a while, absorb it all. Okay, I'm gonna dilute this by half so we can see it better. Here's one milliliter of water, then one milliliter of the cherry juice. Okay, so strip number one will turn any cyanide that's in there into cyanogen chloride. And then the next strip I dip in will turn that into a blue color. So, I have to do this for 30 seconds. Okay, now if there's any cyanide, this strip should turn blue. Hey, <laughs> there is. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is kind of hard to tell, but I would say this is around two to three parts per million, anywhere in there. Definitely not greater than 10. So I'm gonna say two parts per million, but we diluted it by half. So I had four parts per million, so that's about four milligrams per 1,000 milliliters. And then I had two milliliters of that concentration. So that gives me around 0 0.008 milligrams of cyanide. And I had two cherry seeds to get that. So that is not a lot of cyanide. The lethal dose for a human is 1.5 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram of body weight. <laughs> So even if I only weighed a kilogram, this 0 .004 milligrams of cyanide would not kill me. <laughs> and also, I doubt you could grind up a cherry seed like what happened in the hydraulic press there. What's really cool about this also is I tried it without the cherry. I just took the seed out and then I crushed one seed and there was actually no detectable cyanide in it. And I think that's because the cyanide in apple seeds and cherry pits is actually contained in a molecule called amygdalin. And the amygdalin, in order to release the cyanide, it needs to react with enzymes in the fruit. And so if you have just the pit and not the cherry, there's not enough enzymes to react with it, and so it won't produce the cyanide. So here's the two test strips with the crushed cherry juice with it and without the crushed cherry juice with it. You can see there's no detectable blue to it, but when we crushed the cherry pit with the cherry, it produced the cyanide. And also another thing to consider here is that this concentration probably could get a little stronger if I let the cherry pit sit in the water for a while. It probably would release a little bit more, but you're needing like four orders of magnitude more cyanide in order to kill you from eating cherry seeds. And that's not gonna happen by soaking this cherry seeds in the water more and getting a different result here. Hey, just eating some cherry pits here. Hope you enjoyed this. Now you can dispel the myth that two cherry pits will kill you. I'm probably still not gonna eat cherry pits though. I don't know why you would, but. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Hit that bell button to be notified when my latest video comes out, and I'll see you next time.